Well hello there everybody, um, Vicky here. I'm not having a good pain day today so my head's all blocked up and clogged. So I've explained to you guys, or not explained, but said to you that I've got tubs. Like these are 12 by 12. Um, I don't know how thick they are, but they're like the scrapbookers, like scrapbookers use them to put the 12 by 12s in. It is two, about two and a quarter deep, which is about six centimetres. I'm not feeling very well, and of course, when you're not feeling very well, or if something's going on, it clogs the clogs the mind. So I was just sitting here in my chair, turning around, looking at all the tubs I've got stacked up, and I thought, what on earth is this one? There's no labels on it. There's no nothing. So I think I've stumbled upon a 12 by 12 box of ugly. Now, God love it, I'm sure that we can do something with it. So I thought I'd just bring you along and we'll just do a little bit of sorting. Now they're one inch strips, which must have been absolutely essential <laughs> to make, for me to keep. It's about one and one and a quarter. Uh, I did, don't ask, I don't know. Now, look away, maybe. <laughs> I don't know what's gonna happen here, but they are plain on one side. So that means we can use the backs of them. I'm just trying to see. They're 20 by 20, 8 by 8. So I'm just wondering if they had a uh, GSM rating. They feel about the same thickness as a, as a photocopy page. So let's, let's have a little flick through here. So they've got nice white backs. So that's a, a blank canvas for us. We'll see whether or not anything in here Oof. okay I bought off marketplace a whole bunch of um, scrapbooking stuff off a lady I'm, I'm not quite sure why I did it don't ask <laughs> I haven't got an answer you can ask but I don't have an answer and I, these I believe are, are part of one of those packs that I've bought because I can't honestly believe that I've stood in a shop looking through this and gone gotta have it this is about as far away from me as you can get so what I think I'm going to do with this one is, is I've got a table out the back where I do all my tea coffee staining and I do play around with the jelly plates so this one is not going to be used that one's actually not too bad I can't see this being used in its current state so there's 50 there it looks like somebody had a crack at two of the sheets so I didn't pay very much money for the scrapbooking stuff so I was very fortunate now I am very lucky that I have a little girl next door who is almost five and she's a big school girl but she, but she loves to collage so I can see even though this is wide on the back um, I've got a feeling that a little four-year-old is going to absolutely love these papers. I'm finding them particularly horrendous. But that's me. If you, I don't mean to insult anybody's taste. Now I could take these and we could use the back of them for coffee dyeing. But I do have a lot. And I think maybe um, Isabel will probably enjoy this. It is glittered, so I'd probably just need to rub it back a little bit if I was going to use it. But I think because I've got Isabel there, now you see she probably wouldn't like the dark ones. So, but then again, if she rips them up for collage, now those in a smaller bit, they would probably work as tabs, like for the top of something a little bit different the top of tags so let's see I just cut along here and then cut across and I've got some blanks here so that if we put that one there like that That's what I'm thinking. I think they will actually work. So I'll, I'll hold those back 
these ones most definitely use those. I've, I've got a feeling that's got to be out of another pack. Um, so that one probably. Yeah, this must this would have come in one of those scrapbooking because there are pages taken out of this, and I really don't remember it so. This will be one tub at a time. I might actually be able to empty empty this. Now the card at the back I can use. Oh, okay, I see what's happened. So this was one. This was one pack. And then another one's been put inside it. Because it's just it just doesn't match any of that. So that's an Isabel pile. Um, I should probably like that page too. Now these come from. Now let me think. I oh, might be written on there. Maybe we um. This goes way way back. I think no, these aren't mine. Well, they are mine, but these have come in with the scrapbooking. So there's all they're all templates to use for different shapes and this one's for the corners and borders on that one and they might actually be a little bit oh, the word actually actually an um so these pages here belong to a different pack now I don't know that she's going to like the black ones don't want to give her stuff that she doesn't want because then that's a problem for mummy with things everywhere so I, know, I, think I might stain the back of those we'll keep those now what have we got here always and forever bliss now I wouldn't use those sentiments but it might be that's a piece of paper um, like card stuff that's been put in there there we go so we can repurpose those Plastics, more of the same. So these are a little plastic charms. They might be worth play around to. Now, what have we got here? Paper, scissors, rock. Now I know they're in, they're a uh, magazine. I don't know whether or not they continue, whether or not continue. I don't know if they're still going. I haven't I haven't looked for quite a while I used to get them but I found I pretty much stopped buying magazines because I found I wasn't reading them which is a shame because magazines come out and they are really good and they need support so there's a couple of clips there I'm just having a look at this I'm just wondering whether or not Izzy will use them. So if I take those two. She loves art, she loves collaging, she loves creating. So for her birthdays and Christmas I buy her art related supplies. And she feels very grown up and special because I've got some I don't know, they're not Copic, Copic. Um, some really nice markers and I've put half a dozen in her her tub for when she comes over and just just to do that she, she just thinks she's just so grown up and she's really careful with them and, and she loves using them so I've let her keep them in her little tub. So she thinks that's pretty special. So and her little brother's got his monster truck. I, I bought him we bought him a um a semi with monster trucks because when they come over, or well, when kids visit, they need toys, they need things to play with. So I might 
actually hang on to those ones. So I like to have, I've always liked to have toys at home. Now she's going to love these bits. I could probably use them, but I can see Izzy loving that. So we'll put them back for her. I probably could use, well I could, I could use those in my own collages, but I'll, I, I think Isabel will have a more fun. I might see if I've got a, a plain book here. I've got in mind for, for when she comes over, she can come home over for a visit without Mummy and Isaac, so it's like a big deal time with her. We might make we might make a book together for her. Oh, we can all them back. I don't know how interested any of you will be with me doing this, but it's just kind of I've got I've got a lot of videos done. It's just a question of getting them edited and I went for about a 30 hour cycle 38 hour cycle somewhere I don't know what it was it doesn't matter about a day and a half with no sleep and then finally at I saw three o'clock this morning and so that's easy so I'll just pause for a minute I'll go and get her pile so is this is our neighbour? Uh, our granddaughters in the UK. We go to uh, Woolworths, and they've got these building building a farm. They're little like Lego um, things, and you build little things with them. So her, their mummy doesn't shop in Big W uh, Woolworths. So we make sure we get whatever they're giving away for the kids. And then I've got stacks of they just got sticker sheets and everything that I've found. I'll put that down there to stop the noise. And so this one, this one's pretty sad too, I think. I think even Isabel would have trouble finding this inspiring. Oh no, they were right. Okay, so they're playing this smooth. So that one is off to the dye pot. Yeah, I think it's important, you know, to have some toys about, you know, you have, don't need a lot. Just so that if you get visitors, little people visiting. Actually, I will give her that one. Because they're words. It will help her with her word, well, her letter recognition. But other than that, this one's off to the die. I don't have an awful lot of 12 by 12 style, I'm here to tell you. So I think they're good for Isabel. They'll help her with a book, like I said, with a letter. Now these ones here, I might be able to do something with them. But I think Isabel will get a lot of fun out of those. So I'm going to have an empty tub the way we're going, aren't we? That's exciting. Now I've got this here that's been off of that and we'll put that down in her bundle. So if you're like me and you've got stuff and stuff and more stuff and you know just a little bit more stuff, when you're not feeling the best just grab something and just do something because if you're not up to creating, there's always something in our rooms that we can be doing, a little bit of sorting, a little bit of cleaning, all that sort of thing. Now these look like six by six. You just have to remember that what we find particularly hideous, somebody else is going to really love them. See, they'd coffee dyed well, but they are nicer the designs that Isabel will like using those. Um, what have we got here? 
particularly horrendous colour. Well, they're not horrendous, they're just not my thing. What have I got here? That's actually, that's watercolour paper, I think. So that's a glossy, so I could use that with alcohol inks. And this is a pad that's come apart. And it's cold press watercolour. So we'll hang on to that. That's another glossy that will work. They go this way. Um, what have we got? Okay, she probably like those two, and we'll give her these. Now, even if you're like me and you're well stocked, even if you think you can use some of these things, if you've got lots and lots of stuff, you can make up little bundles for the kids that are doing this because it does get expensive to be constantly buying stuff for the children. And like she uses um, junk mail brushes, any, anything really that she can, and she sits there sometimes for hours just doing it. So I'm going to pop off. And I'll just go over and give them to her now because I was just over 10. Um, I was looking for a box, and yep, I'll be back. Okay, so I've just taken some things over for Isabel, and I've just come back to have a look at what's here. So that's the watercolour, that's a piece of cardboard to back tags with. These are all squares that I'll be able to do something with. And there's always one thing you don't take out when you're, when you're going. That one, I believe, we decided to do the coffee dyeing on. Graham refocused my camera yesterday and he's pushed it back that way a bit. I just have to remember, oh, they could have gone to Isabel. I really don't think they're... I don't know, let's have a look. And then you see that's a tub that's been there that's been sort of laughing at me. Get to me, get to me, finish me, finish me. And there's really nothing in it, is there? So these these have got like a like a gel over them. I just don't do that very often, just put it in the bin. <laughs> Of that that's a bit of card those there for ephemera so what I might do is, is I might leave this box with these bits and pieces in it that I've decided to keep and then I if I go through another tub I'll have a tub for bits and pieces to know to sort on what to do so I might just do one more I don't think this one's going to be as easy to do as the other one so I've got it marked here journals to do so I thought I had all my fabrics and all my papers all together when I sorted I did a big sort out of all my papers but I didn't realize I'd put so many so I've got invitation um, envelopes and the invitation himself see that's pretty that, that'll make an eye. Oh, you can't see it up there. So that's a piece for a journal. So I've bought all these. These um, I've done from a, a friend's. Oh, embossing folder. So that's that. And, okay, so I've collected all bits and pieces in here to start making journals. So I've got some. That's paper. This is card vanilla folders that I don't think there'll be anything coming out of here so I've got paper cut now that's the Vlies effects of heat and bond that I use so I've got those there so that's that's actually paper that's gift gift wrapping paper it comes in uh, I think maybe a meter from Kayser Craft that's a fabric. Here's more of that paper. So I've actually cut them ready to 
to use them on to get going. So this too, well, I don't know when I thought I was going to have spare time, girls. So these are papers that I've put in here that I thought would match the. I think this one because you know it's so soft and so pretty. So this is a this does beautiful work. This lady, um, my, my, my lemon crafts. So I've got. What does she call this one? Give me a minute. Let me, okay. Oh, the name's on it there somewhere. It is so hot here. So she's out of pole and this lady. So oh, we've got double sided. Actually, no, that one doesn't go go with it. That's a that's a different brand, miles apart. So these are all papers that I've put aside thinking that they would go with the covers that I've got there ready to go. Oh, I've tried to get organised and then I haven't gone any further. So that's something I thought I'd make. Now these, I've put them in there. So that's a, a minte pack and I've done some die cuts and I've collected, I've collected bags and what have you. Oh, this is uniquely creative kit. So basically this one, lemon, more lemon craft. Um, so yeah, lemon craft. I gave you all my love, it says down the bottom. So these are all very soft and quite romantic. Alright. <laughs> well that's a discovery. Found more papers and more fabric, just what I needed. Alright. So we'll close this one up and I think what I might do is probably put them on top so that they don't get a permanent crease in them. So they're obviously just what I thought would all go together and I've made a little box up so that I can just grab one box and go. I'm just going to get one more thing down. So I was buying the Uniquely Creative kits, monthly quick kits, and I think it sells as a scrapbook. And I quite like them. So what I might do is, is we'll get this one out of the way. And well, I did have an empty one. So that doesn't happen very often. Oh, I forgot to put them away. So this is um, Uniquely Creative. This is everything that comes with the kit. And I think it's really quite good value. Uh, you just, you just got to use them. If you get them, you've got to use this stuff. Don't be like me. Not, not the brightest. So it's come with some cardstock. So we've got the blue. And then it comes with a creative kit club and I think it's for it's called moody blues this one and I think they, they just give you all different sorts of um, scrapbook layouts but there would be some ideas in there to make journal card and so we've got a colour page in there that's on a it's on a fairly thick page and these papers are really nice they they are nice and thick so this is the paper pack that comes with it, and I believe Moody Blues. So what I might do is, is because I, I'm really not up to doing much of anything at the moment, and this is something that needs to be done using these arm, I might just do a little bit of prep work and have a sit with them and see what we come up with, and I'll do a follow up video on that so this is what I do when I'm not feeling well I don't I don't sit very well I get really quite well I get agitated and frustrated really I get grumpy so rather than trying to do something that I might get wrong so I've got so they give us a pen 
a glue a fine glue pen we've got beads seed beads there and these are the little laces so we've got a pack of oh these are butterflies so I had to get one that was joined didn't I like little lace lace butterflies so there's a packet of those I do think it's quite generous what you get you get a pack of die cuts and see whether or not so these are paper ones I believe I won't get them all out yeah, that's on very thick card, so don't make me walk when I want to fly. Oh, that's a good saying. So there's all sorts of different embellishments in there. Now this one, they look like um, vellum stickers. It'll tell me here. Yep, they're vellum. So you get a pack of vellum stickers as well. And a stencil. A embossing folder. And some little die cuts out of... Um, I thought it might have been like balsa wood, but I think it's a thick card. My hands aren't working very well, sorry. So yeah, they're like little chipboard. Very fine. It's very, very fine. What I what we used to call balsa wood, which is very light and spongy. They make, you know, like model planes and that out of them. I don't know if they still do. So there you go. So I've got this kit open now. I'll have a little play and a little look about it. And I'll either do a cover from one of the pages out of our paper stack. Or I'll do a, I'll do a fabric one. I'll just, yeah, like I said, I'll just sit with that. So it's mainly just popping on to say hello. Um, I'm creating a way. Now I've got, I think, about three projects on the go. Plus, I'm trying to keep up with Roxy's weekly challenge, but I'm still trying to edit number five. So I need to get cracking on that as well. So this is a sneak pre peek of something that I'm doing. So obviously it's a journal. So I was up at 2.33 this morning. Um, and the last thing I did before I went back to try and sleep was I did a little bit of collage. So that's a sneak peek on what I've done there on that page, just a page in the journal. So I hope you can pick it up all right. And I'm really pleased with how that come up. So it's all collaged. And then I've just put a little bit of paint over the top of it. So that's a peek. And then I'm using some beautiful papers. So this is a Stamparia one. So that's in the middle of the book. Normally I put an envelope in the middle of the book. So I thought I'd do something a bit different. Um, so yeah, I've made two pages into an envelope to put things in and on it goes. So that's a sneak peek at that one. This one is another sneak peek. Uh, this is a little, this is a smaller journal. That's my hand. And, the, and then I've been, this is the journal I'm making with all the bits that came out of the paper inspirations decoration so what what everything that the majority of what here has come out of the mystery weekly mystery box so that's a pocket there and then I've made it into a tuck there and yeah so there's this one here I love this thank you Wendy from Wendy's Cre create Wendy's journaling journey I'm sorry Wendy I'll make sure that I get that right and I love this. So you put put that and then you open it up and you go, it reminds me of little chicks in the nest with their mouth open ready for mum to feed you. So thank you, Wendy. I absolutely love that. And then I've just put a couple of little things. So I guess, and then just one more thing. So I've got that on one side there and that's a pocket on the, on the back side of it. So I've got a couple of other little things I'll show you as we go when I'm making it. Oh, I've just put that in there and and that's the other this is from Roxy's challenge I believe it was number four so you put it over the page and you open it up and there you go 
So that's it. That's two sneak peeks. So I'm a little bit slow, but I am actually creating all the time. So with that, I'm going to go. This is just a quick little hello while I'm trying to get videos edited. And I wanted to just say hello. So take care, be kind to you, and be kind to the person standing next to you. Bye for now.